we're going to look at a very quick and simple safety check that I do every time I take anybody out on a bike, just so that I know that their bike isn't gonna cause them any damage. It's called an M check because it starts here and it's the shape of an M and it shouldn't take long to do. It is just a really quick mechanical check. So we'll start down here at the back wheel. And what I wanna do is just make sure that the wheel's not gonna fall out. So I'm gonna take one finger and just try and release the lever here on the back wheel. If it comes open, you just need to tighten it on the other side, or if it's a bolt through, you just need to make sure it's screwed up fully. And once that's attached, we're happy. Next thing, I'm just gonna check the tire pressure on the back wheel. Doesn't need to be in much detail, so just take the palm of your hand and squish down as hard as you can. And you should feel just a little bit of give in the back wheel there. Nothing more technical. Following that, spin the back wheel and just get them to pull the back brake. And obviously it should stop rotating there. Next, we're gonna move up to the saddle here. And I just want them to grab the saddle, give it a good shake and make sure that that seat's not gonna fall off while they're riding. It's quite painful if it does. We're gonna move from there down to the bottom bracket here. I'm not really worried about the gears at this point in time. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing on their pedals that's gonna cause them any harm. So just have a look, particularly if they've got flat pedals or plastic pedals, make sure there's nothing particularly sharp protruding out from the pedals themselves. They're moving up to the front of the bike. We're gonna check the headset. So that's the bearings in here. And if you turn the bars to 90 degrees, pull the front brake on and just wobble forwards and backwards. You shouldn't hear any clunking and you shouldn't feel any movement in here, okay? Next, we're gonna move down and just do the same we did on the back. So we'll check the tire pressure. You can allow a bit more squidge in the front for grip in the corners, but again, not too much. You shouldn't feel yourself touching the rim as you push down here. So it's just a bit of squidge is good. And then same with the front brake, I'm gonna spin this front wheel, pull that lever. And then last of all, one finger on the lever here and just make sure that that doesn't actually slip open. Once you've done that check, you're pretty confident that their bike's not gonna cause them any damage and you can deal with any other things as they arise on the trail.